As we neared the end of the day, our group of four became a group of seven, and we embarked on what would be an incredible shoot. Some people can find seascape photography quite hard. They find it difficult to be able to get a composition. They find the water movement and everything else as well can be challenging from a photography point of view. And it is correct. However, I relish the opportunity from a seascape point of view. As I would have said on many of my episodes, what I love about it is with the moving water, every image is going to be unique. There's going to be nothing the same. And I'm here today. Uh, again, I'm on the Copper Coast, so it's the sunset for the sunrise of my last video and I've come to a different beach now which is called Benvoy and it's one of my favorite beaches along the whole Copper Coast Geopark area because again you've got more stacks that are along here but you've got this beautiful black sand so when I'm taking my photos here I might as well imagine that I'm going to be in Iceland with the black sand and everything else that's there and then dotted along the way you've got the likes of these which are your copper colored um, stones. So, you know, you can get some nice layup of those. They'll move as the water will come through and it'll move it in and out. But you can get some nice layups as well in regards to that to get the composition right within your shot and get a lovely contrast because, you know, the, the, the copper tone against the black really, really jumps out. And then where I'm positioning myself is I'm actually facing east. So, <clears throat> Sun is going to be setting over here, but I'm not shooting to the sun, I'm shooting with the sun. And again, it's something that I said on a number of other uh, occasions, other episodes, I prefer to shoot with the sun. Because what's going to happen now is when the tide is coming in here, you can see that the waves are coming along and they're going to lead up as far as this one stack that's here on its own. And when the sunlight then as well, which I don't know if we're going to get it or not, but it probably will still do it, is going to light up that side of the rock as well then here you get some lovely colors as nice greens and yellows on the top of that rock as well and then it's just a matter of getting the shot composed where i want this and wait for the water then to do most of the work for me because the water then will start to come in here and will start to then give me the line that i'm looking for and the composition up to that stack as well itself so i'm going to um get set up here, going to play around with a couple of different compositions, going to look for some of these um, stones that are here as well to see if I can get that nice bit of contrast on the black rock and I'll check back in again in a moment so I think this will be a nice uh, shoot, hopefully we'll get some nice colours, I don't know if I'm going to get colours on the west which is why I'm pointing east but yeah let's see, let's go and let's see how we get on. My first composition here now and I've managed to actually see two uh, of these rocks that I would have seen shown you earlier on the copper color and they're right in front of me here and they're actually leading me up to this stack and what I'm doing here is waiting like right now for the water to come in and just touch these here which is actually going to give me the as I said earlier on the, the leading line of the shot as well itself you get a beautiful contrast you get the white of the waves you get the copper color of the rocks you get the blackness of the sand and you get the stack that's there as well we're still around an hour away from sunset and you know I can see already that there's touches of color appearing in the sky so hopefully it will be a, a, a nice set but when I take this photo here and like I said from the outset so you can see here the water's coming in right now if I take the shot now it's capturing all of that movement and I've got that 
movement up along the image itself, which again is framing, I suppose, really these two uh, copper rocks, which are actually quite fitting in regards to the area that I'm in. So that's the first setup from a shot here. I don't even know if I'm going to move from here. I do like the composition that I have, but I'll walk around, I'll scout out a couple of other compositions. I might move down further as well here, or I might just wait here and see if I can get the light, as I would have said earlier on, um, hitting the side of that stack as well there. But yeah, first shot, simple shot, taking the remote, just waiting for the wave to come through. No messing really. And I'm at half a second at the moment. And I think I'm gonna try and stick at half a second naturally um, for today because that's really, I do think that's the optimum time frame from taking a shot as well itself. So yeah, we'll check back in again in a moment anyway. I'll continue to take a couple of shots here and wait to see if I can get that optimum wave that just comes up and touches these two stones that, that are there. I'm still in the same composition here and what I'm looking at is the water as it comes in and it sweeps back out again it gives a beautiful photograph and you get a nice sweeping motion as well coming through in the frame as well itself and it's a matter again like I say I'm sticking at a half a second and that, I always like that as an exposure time but it does seem to be the best time as well here in regards to when the water as well is coming in and it gives a lovely sweeping shot like I say something different same composition again water's coming in now more so than it was earlier on, so it's coming past the two rocks that I was shooting at earlier. But I've actually managed, a couple of other rocks now have appeared there as well that weren't there earlier, so it will give uh, a different shot again, I think, than it was earlier on as well. But yeah, beautiful uh, location. Hopefully, again, like I said earlier, could get nice light, but um, I have to contend with just, these waves are coming in, they're actually coming up over my wellies, so my uh, feet are getting a small bit wet, but hey, I'm not going to complain too much, eh? So yeah, um, show you the shot here now and we'll check back in again now as the light will hopefully start to come for this beautiful lo uh, location. I've moved my camera now finally away from where I was earlier because as you can see in the background here the sun is giving us some nice light it's about to drop below the bank of clouds so this really will be the last bit of light that I'm going to get but what it does do is it gives me a nice sheen on the water that's coming in here and there's a number of different stones that are here as well so they're going to catch the light with the water coming in over it and the water going back out I do think it's going to give a very very nice shot I'm using the remote again, so I don't have to worry about uh, any shake or anything like that. But it's just a matter, as always, with the seascape point of view, wait for the wave, take the shot, capture coming in or capture coming out. But i uh, happy now that I just got this shot here before the sun has dipped below those clouds. So the next thing now that we just need to wait for is the final burst of color that's going to come. Hopefully it would light up the upper atmosphere that's there. It does give us a kind of a sight that it's going to be nice, but as everything, we don't know what's going to be in the far western corner or western side, so that could block it all out. But yeah, uh, simple little shot here, nice bit of movement on the stones, and I'm going to go now as well in a moment just to the final spot, so I'm just going to wait for the light and we'll check back in again then.
You may now be wondering, what's the story with the sound? Well, in my excitement and general disbelief that these conditions were actually unfolding, yeah, I forgot to press the record button. If I had, you'd heard me say something along the lines of, wow, this is phenomenal. It didn't look like it was going to come, but now that it has, it's absolutely incredible. It's a sight for sore eyes. If you follow my channel, you'll have seen continuous grey and dull Irish weather conditions and to get these conditions I feel it was finally getting my reward for sticking with it, getting up early and coming home late. I had some of the best conditions I've ever had and most of all I was able to share it with six other local photographers and also members of our group Monster Landscape Photographers Ireland. So despite my audio mishap I did however manage to get some really tasty b-roll and for what is so far my favorite image of 2019. Uh, this is too good I have to continue to shoot this you'll see the images at the end of it this is amazing uh, thanks very much for watching the episode hope you enjoyed the content today it's incredible uh, until the next time I'm gonna sign out before.